Hello, I'm Lace Potato Chips. This is episode 7 of Lace Potato Chips, episode 2 of How to Know the Chess Pieces. Of course, here they are. Harry Potter chess this time. And of course, if you haven't, if you have trouble with chess, then this video will help you and teaches you how the pieces move. Um, I might agree with him. So, can we get started? Good. So, let me tell you about the first piece, the pawn. Half of your color team is pawns. So, that's why every player has eight pawns. Of course, pawns can only move forward. They can move two squares on their first turn, but then after they leave the home base, they can only move one square for the rest of the game. Of course, a pawn has the option to go one or two squares, but after it leaves the home base, it only has to go one square for the rest of the game. Next, here we have the knights. Knights move in an L-shaped pattern. It goes one, two, and then lands on a square. It captures a piece that it lands on, not a piece that it jumps over, okay? So, that's two out of six pieces done. And next will be the bishop. You notice him because of this thing, and you notice there was a knight because, well, he's on course. So I assumed you knew this is the rook because of his shield, right? Well, anyways, enough about this. Bishops can move diagonal unless if there's a piece in its way. Well, if a pawn can move one or two squares in his whole turn, that means the bishop can move freely. And then, yet, here we go again. When he moves, of course, bishops move diagonal. And that's what I'm here to tell you. So, here we go to the next piece. We learned about the rook, we learned about the knight, we learned about the bishop, we learned about the pawns. Now we go to the king and queen. Of course, this is the queen because of its circle right there. And this helmet makes him the king of the game, right? Well, enough about the jokes. Well, let's get to them. Each player only has one king and one queen. So they must protect their queen and king as much as they can. Am I right, your majesties? Hmm. Might agree. Hmm. Same here. Well, I might agree. Oh boy. On to victory. Of course, if pieces can get to the center of the board, then you'll have a higher chance of winning. And of course, check is when you're in danger and you can do CPR, capture, protect, and run away. And when you're in checkmate, when you're in checkmate, you cannot do CPR. Of course, stalemate is yet the rarest thing yet. So this dream square can be something, you know, like this dream spot is like this, you know, when your king can castle, he goes one, two squares. Of course, when your king castles, he moves two squares and the rook jumps over him. And no other piece is involved. So, I'll just have to, well, you know, see the five things in chess that you're not allowed to castle. So, let's just bring the pieces back in their positions and show you what they're doing. So, let's get started. The first thing, here we go. 
So, when we have the knight that moves first, of course I'm just going to have to do it with white. Here are the five things that you can't castle. That's another thing. One, the first thing that you can't castle is when you have a piece in the way. Like this bishop, for example, because the knight moved. So, number one that you can't castle is if the bishop or any other chess piece is in the way. So, just like your life, if you got toys, video games, and board games on your bed, you can't go to bed and go to clean it up first. You know, same here in this position. Of course, if the pawn moves and the bishop moves, yep, you can castle. Here we have our second thing that we can't castle is if the king is in check. Well, second thing that you can't castle, second reason why you cannot castle is if your king lands or goes through check. If your king does, does something like this, that's called, well, castling through check, which is not allowed. Not allowed to castle through check because, well, this is something weird to tell you. So, let's see. Yet, if the king is in check, of course. So, here we have this. If the queen is right there, and when you want to castle, you can't go through it because you'll be in check. That's yet another thing why you can't castle. Third thing is when you are in check, remember that. You can't, and the third thing is if you, you can't castle if you're in check. If you're castling when you're in check, it's not allowed. So, let's say, for example, if a bishop was there, can you castle? Well, that's a big no. You can't castle when you're in check. Of course, you can block it with something. Here we have our fourth thing. You can't castle if your rook has moved. So, let's say for an example that if you want a castle, your king, for an example, if you move this rook and your rook has made a move, you can't castle with that rook. Of course, you can still castle with the other rook. Well, if that well, rook has moved, then you can't castle with that rook. Then you might have to castle with the other rook. And the fifth and final thing that you can't castle is if you moved your king. Of course, you just moved your king and then heads back. Why can't you castle if you moved your king? Of course. You can't castle after you moved your king. So that means if white moves his king, then he can't castle for the rest of the game. So, these were the five things that you can't castle. Of course, if you were playing chess with whoever you are playing, then that will be great. Of course, that might be every piece. So, if you castle really early in the game, you won't have to worry about these five things you can't castle. Hmm. Good. Well, what next? Of course, this is 
gonna be great. And also, chess is a really great game, good for your brain. You're making it rhyme? Cool! Well, it's like that. Of course, I'm gonna be yet the player who under, in fact, estimates fool's mate. Well, in fact, it could be the weak square on this square, or even that square. Weird. Yeah, I even see how I checkmate. Somehow. And I always castle. Yep, castle really early, and you don't have to worry about it. Well, where's the Lay's guy? Yep, he's the one that was teaching us chess today. Oh, cool. I'm amazed. Hmm, me too. So, what now? Oh dear. I think you can know I'm the knight because I'm on a horse. And I'm the rook and I have my protected shield. Ooh, I do. Hmm, and we're at the corners of the board. Oh, yep. Let me see. Of course, we'll just see if, you know, when any of us are at the center of the square. Of course, if a pawn is at the center of the square, it can go from one square, and then if an enemy is on that square or that square, I guess that makes three. Can you beat that? Of course, you can easily can. Knight, you're next. Oh dear, I'm sure. Nee! <laughs> steady, buddy, steady. Ah! My helmet! Oh dear. I'm so nervous about this. Ah! Oh, you got to be kidding me. Come on. Of course, if you were at the center of the board, you could capture the enemy on eight squares. And on your starting position, just on three. Wow. I become three times more powerful on the center of the board than I am on my starting position. And I become four times more powerful than the corner. And twice as powerful on this side, right there. Of course. It's true. My next... Well, which color of bishop should we choose? Me. Okay, fine. Of course. If we had just one bishop on the center square, then it can attack its enemy on uh, 13 squares. Let me count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. There's no way I'm that unlucky. I'm telling you, I'm always on my same car square. And me and him never bump into each other. Because we're always on the same square. Yep, that's right, bro. Of course, both bishops combined. The black and white square bishop can get a total of 26. Not as much as the... Well, whatever. Rook. Of course, when you're on a center square, you can capture your enemy on 14 different squares. Of course, the bishop can capture its enemy on just 13 squares. Of course, you're still one block short to be tied with the powerful rook. Of course, me and that light square bishop combined, we can get a total of 26 squares. Not as much as me. That's still not... Oh boy, that was weird. So are you next, queen? I'm already here. Of course. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. No. One, two, three, uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Ooh, I can go to fourteen squares. But wait, I'm a queen. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. Of course, I can capture my enemies on 27 different squares. If it's 
enemy drops its guard, I will capture them right away. Wow. That's still more squares than me and my other friend combined. Wow. That's even more than two bishops combined. The light square and the dark square combined. And that's 26 squares. You, I still can go to more squares than the two bishops combined. Wow, you're powerful. Yep, you also have a queen as well. Oh dear. Oh yeah, it's me. Hmm. Now you're gonna find out how powerful we are when we're in the center of the board. Of course, when I'm in the center of the board, same amount of squares as you, Mr. Knight. But they're much shorter. I can still move one square in any direction, and I can even move backwards. Yeah. And I'm the only piece that cannot move backwards. I'm the smallest piece out of all of you, but the most numerous amount of them. That's a lot. And I'm the tallest ranking piece. And I'm the most powerful piece. And costs nine points. Nine points, that's a lot. That's even more than the eight of us. That's more than all of us pawns combined. Hmm. Yep. That's even more than both of us knights combined. And yep, that's as many points as me, the knight, and three pawns combined. Oh yes, I'm telling you. Oh dear, what now? Yeah, for sure. Hmm. There's no price tag on either of us kings. So, because I think I'm the only piece that cannot be captured. Oh, yes. We're the same chess piece, but different colors. Are we from different countries? Yep, I'm the black country. I'm the white country. Oh, dear, I have a feeling this won't end well. Of course. I'm sure if you guys can get along... Well, I'm sure I remember all about chess, and I can teach you guys if you don't know how to. Yeah. So what now? The Lays is going to come here? Yeah. Lays knows a lot of chess. He was even there in the last video. And Mongolia wasn't the one that appears in videos much. Oh, yeah, you're talking about the one that tells you how to play chess? Hmm, true. Hmm. Of course. Well, the thing to tell you is... Hmm. Piece of power. Of course, let's see your positions. You rooks are in the corners of the board. Knights. Or the white knight is on A, B1, and G2. One, B6 and B3 are where the bishop's at. The two queens are in the in their own color square. But the king, that remains him there. The eight pawns are on the second row and on the seventh row. Depending on which color you seriously play as. Hmm, that's true. So what now? And of course, and you know how to play chess. This video is long. I can teach you. So, here we go. Here we have a plain chess. You know what? There's eight pawns, two bishops, two rooks, two knights, and the queen, which protect their king. Trying to, with, trying to protect him while attacking the enemy's king. When the king finds himself in a position where he can be captured, the attacking player says check. And when there's no square where the king can run from check or protect, it's called checkmate. Whoever checkmates the other king first is the winner. Oh, wow. All of that memory in just a 20-minute video? That's one-third of an hour. Hmm. We only got this in just 20 minutes. Yep, I think you'll figure out chess in just 
20 minutes or one third of an hour. Whatever. Bye, -bye and I'll see you in the next video.